You know, one of the things that you talked about before and I thought was really interesting because um, most people agree with it, but I don't know if we necessarily say it out loud is that, yeah, like we, there's students that are there, their goal is to get to college, you know, their family's goal is they want their kids to go to college. And, you know, I understand that. And we never want to cross that, but, but it's not the only path to success. And especially in our world today, you know, more and more people are finding success outside of going to college. So how have you like kind of emphasize that in Comac too, that this is not the only path, like this is not the only path for kids because you know, some of these districts, no matter what you show them, what you talk about, it's like, I don't care, college. It's gotta be college or else, right? But you're kind of taking a, a different route saying like, yeah, we wanna make sure that door is open, but it's not the only door that kids can go through. So how, like, how have you kind of emphasized that in the work there at Comac? I think you said something, George, that's really important is that they have that door open. I think that, you know, sort of our role in education is to try and um, educate our students on all the doors that they have open or even create new ones that don't exist. And so one of the things that we've done here, I mean, clearly our community, you know, 96% of our students graduate from Comac and, and go to college. But there's one of the things that makes us special and unique is that our high school, there's something for everybody. So if a student wants to, you know, go the sort of Wilson Tech vocational training, you know, if it, whether it's, um, you know, through drone technology or learning to fly a plane or carpentry or fashion or culinary, you know, those opportunities exist. But the, I think the, one of the things that we've done, we've, we have a very clear educational continuum that starts with the foundation of success in our elementary all the way through our high school. And it has been laser focused on preparing students academically to not only try on college level learning, mm -hmm. but many of the students that leave from Comac, we have 77% of our seniors that are graduating this year have taken five or more college level courses. And in the past, when we talk college level courses, people think AP, IB, but what we've done here in Comac is we've created relationships with colleges and universities so that students that are taking, it could be sculpture and ceramics, it could be band, orchestra, chorus, mm -hmm. anatomy and physiology, the total spectrum of electives that we have in here, students can, can get college level credit. Um, it help, certainly helps them financially. Um, but I think a stat uh, that I'm really proud of is, you know, the number of the percentage of students, uh, students who are graduating with an IEP classified special education, just about 20% of them have taken five or more college level courses. And the reason why every student in Comac is able to meet with success with college level courses or that coursework is because they're able to connect with it. It's the relationship that they have with that coursework. It's of interest of them. They're able to connect what they're learning to the outside world. And so those are some of the things. And the way we've done that is we've clustered some of our courses together here in Comac to say, if you take these courses, they will better prepare you for a career in health sciences, business administration, fine arts, um, uh, eventually school law. So we have a number of different pathways um, in our high school that students can, that students can take. Um, so there's really something for everybody. And next year, one of the things that we're doing a little bit differently is we're actually going to create distinct schools within our high school. So next year, there's going to be a school of business, a school of law, a school of education, a school of um, engineering and applied sciences. There will be a school of liberal studies. And it's kind of like, you know, not everybody knows what they want to do. So for those students that don't, that's perfectly okay. They would fall into the school of liberal studies and we'd be able to target and kind of find what their interests are and what opportunities exist and, um, and connect them with that. So obviously the, the specific schools um, kind of, you know, speak for themselves, but there's so many different careers that exist in there. And students realize maybe I thought I wanted to be an educator, but I went into the school of education got to do an internship in one of our elementary schools and right. realized within 10 seconds, I never want to be in a classroom, which is right. a valuable experience, right? Way better to do that earlier than too late. Cause then you're like, I'm gonna, I, I've already college. put in four years. So I'm going, even though I hate kids, right? It's probably not the best thing. So what, what makes it unique too, is that, and, uh, and, uh, and with this is that the, the schools within the high school does not necessarily mean that you have to take that coursework that is required. It's it's really there's a level of programming that goes with it. So if you're in the School of Engineering, we'll bring in professionals that are in those different careers to come in and talk to you. We'll bring in some college admissions counselors to talk to you about what does that pathway look like? What's the commitment in terms of education? And so there's really, you know, something that we're really proud of here in Comac is that there's there's something for everybody.